One thing I am asked all the time by locals and visitors to the island, why don't we have blue water? Well, the answer to that has to do with the river systems of inland America and the currents of the Gulf of Mexico. Let's get into it. Welcome to Galveston Unscripted. The beaches along the Gulf Coast of Texas have been a draw for millions of beachgoers for well over a century. Maybe even Texas beaches are a deterrent to people who are used to the beautiful blue waters of Florida and the Bahamas. Galveston's watercolor is as dynamic and ever-changing as the heavy rains in the Midwest and the currents of the Gulf of Mexico. Literally, from looking like a chocolate milkshake in a washing machine to resembling the clear blue-green beaches of Florida and Alabama. Let's explore the factors behind Galveston's watercolor and a few misconceptions about the brown water's origin. Thank you to our video sponsor, The Daily News, bringing you the news since 1842. Support your local newspaper, The Daily News. First, let's look into why our water is almost always murky and brown, and we'll get into why we sometimes have those clearer blue-green water days a little later. There are a few factors at play when it comes to Galveston having a distinct, dirty water look. Let's look at the main culprit of sediment flow into the Gulf of Mexico, one of the largest rivers and navigable inland waterways in the world, the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River network covers most of the American Midwestern states. Water runs off into small waterways from more than half of the American states into the Mississippi River system, including the Missouri, Arkansas, Red, Illinois, Ohio, and Tennessee rivers. Most of the water that flows into the Mississippi that isn't acquired for agriculture and industry is destined for one place, the Gulf of Mexico. All of this water runoff into the Mississippi is carrying more than just water. It's carrying soil, sand, and sediment with it, spilling into the Gulf of Mexico at the southernmost point of Louisiana. In this photo, you can see a snapshot of the sediment dump from the Mississippi River into the Gulf of Mexico, only 340 miles from Galveston Island which might sound like a far distance, but geographically, the end of the Mississippi River and Galveston Island are close neighbors. Okay, so we have all of this Mississippi sediment spilling into the Gulf of Mexico, 340 miles away from Galveston. Isn't this Louisiana's problem? Well, not exactly. The gyroscopic currents in the Gulf of Mexico are complex, but relatively steady, constantly moving water around, and of course, the sediment it carries along with it. The main current west of the Mississippi that moves along the coastline of Louisiana and Texas moves from east to west, bringing the water and any sand and sediment from 29 American states with it, bringing that wonderful brownish color along for the ride. But that's not the only place the brown water along the Texas coast and Galveston Bay comes from. We can't ignore a scaled down version of the same concept in Galveston Bay. A few of Texas's river systems spill into the Trinity and San Jacinto rivers, both of which end up in the north side of Galveston Bay. These rivers bring their rich Texas soil and sediment into the bay, adding to the mix of brown water. Galveston, the closest major barrier island west of the Mississippi River, was actually developed this way. Over tens of thousands of years, the sand sediment brought down the Mississippi River system, carried by the current of the Gulf of Mexico, built up a small sandbar that eventually became Galveston Island. So Galveston and all of Texas barrier islands can thank the Texas River system and the Mississippi River for even existing. Now let's talk about why we sometimes have clear blue-green water days. As we have already covered, the color variation in the water is influenced by sediment and material by the discharge of rivers in the region. The sediment dump into the Gulf of Mexico from the river systems is heavily influenced by rain. So when there are heavy rains across the Midwest, more water and sediment flows into the Mississippi River systems, eventually ending up in the Gulf of Mexico. The more rain and water flow means more sediment. So when there are fewer rainy days across Texas and the Midwest, fewer sediment particles are dumped into the Gulf of Mexico. When you combine the rain factor with local wind and current patterns, we experience clear blue water days. Blue water days are most prevalent when local winds calm down, allowing the sediment to settle to the bottom as the water motion becomes more tranquil. Additionally, in late summer or autumn, a south to north pulse of water often brings bluer, saltier water from South Texas up the coast, acting as a barrier to fresher water with higher sediment loads from Louisiana. 
Residents and visitors alike should appreciate these natural processes that have been shaping the coastal environment long before human habitation. When observing the waters off of Galveston Beach, you become a witness to a timeless process, connecting with the enduring and ever-evolving beauty of the coastal landscape. So when you see Galveston's brown water, you should know that it's part of a process connected to the rest of the United States and the Gulf of Mexico. And without the sediment-filled water being dumped into the Gulf of Mexico, Galveston Island would not even exist. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and check us out on social media. We are everywhere. And if you haven't yet, go check out the podcast. We've got hours and hours of historical content on that podcast feed. You will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Galveston Unscripted.